To the investigation underway at Silver Dollar City after a popular train ride derailed, sending six people and one employee to the hospital. Uh, only one guest remains in hospitalized tonight. Officials say about 160 people were on board the Frisco Silver Dollar steam line Wednesday night when three train cars went off the tracks and ended up on its side. We're told no one was seriously hurt. That's the good news in this. The state fire marshal's office says the first stage of the derailment investigation is now done. Investigators will return at a later date to continue investigating with an engineering firm. Color 10's Ashley Eddy is live at Silver Dollar City tonight after speaking with someone who was on the train when it derailed. Ashley? Steve, that's right. He tells me everyone just tried to remain as calm as possible when it all happened. I also spoke to some park goers here today about how they feel following the incident. Guests continue to file into Silver Dollar City on Thursday, but this time they won't be hearing this familiar sound. A spokesperson from SDC says everything remains open at the park except the Frisco Silver Dollar Line steam train. At about 6 p.m. Wednesday, three of the four train cars derailed. It shook for about 10 seconds and it toppled over um, completely on its side. Gary Eldridge was one of those passengers. Luckily, he says he was in the one train car that didn't derail. He's sharing video and what he saw with Ozarks First. And there, there was a lot of people that were scared, but um, Everyone come together really quickly. I mean, people were, you know, busting out windows. People were trying to make sure there was everyone was okay. Silver Dollar City issuing a media update Thursday that says in part, quote, at Silver Dollar City, the safety and well-being of our guests and team members are paramount, which is why we have detailed emergency protocols and conduct regular drills in partnership with area emergency personnel. We are grateful for the quick, thoughtful action and teamwork of all involved in the response. Many park goers say the incident isn't keeping them away. Accidents can happen, but um, if uh, one of the rides was going to come off the rails, the train was probably the best one. Um, but um, I don't know, I've always felt safe with the kids and stuff here. It's a shame that it did happen, but um, it's not going to scare us from coming here. But While others who saw it all play out might have a different thought. As far as riding the train, uh, I'm not 100% sure that we'll be doing that anytime soon. I'm told a team here at Silver Dollar City is currently following up with those involved to find out if there's any additional support that can be provided. Reporting in Branson, Ashley Eddy, Ozarks First.